Is this? It's from Helheim. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from? Would you turn your back on the wolves, on this realm? Remember our agreement. does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Oh, 
Ça. Good choice, lad. Way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodus Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Look out! That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. Two of them? Kill them! Oh! <laughs> 
like the egros. <laughs> we can get across from up here. We report back to Hildesfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for masks. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. All the plants here want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. That wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowfinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einherjar are holding Freya in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves, and now we have just the scepter to do it. What did you find? A seed of Idrisil? To Muspelheim. Where do you reckon it leads? The gauntlet, perhaps? The what? Combat trials. We... I attempted them several years ago. With Atreus? Yes. Then we should find the other half of the sea. See where it leads. Beagan, how is he? He rests. Nice work with the wolves. I've never seen any clips in Benai. When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. 
the Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesvini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Come on. 